very unusual genesis. I was invited to contribute to an anthology, a themed anthology of horror stories and supernatural stories, edited by Charlene Harris and Tony Kelman. So, uh, I was invited to contribute to a themed anthology of horror stories um, by two American writers, Charlene Harris and Tony Kelman. And the, they do this every year, and the theme is always something very banal and simple and innocent and everyday. So one year it was family holidays, and another year it was um, home improvements. And so the brief is, write a horror story or a supernatural story around this theme. And the theme for this year was um, school, school days. And having said that I would write a story, I couldn't think of a single decent idea. I sat for months staring at the wall. And then I woke up one day with the idea of, of Melanie in my mind, the idea of a little girl in a classroom writing an essay, the essay that every school child writes again and again and again, what I want to be when I grow up. Only we can see, and she can't, that growing up is not going to be an option. If I can quote two, two other people, two other cr creators, um, Ursula Le Guin said in the introduction to uh, Left Hand of Darkness, uh, everything you see in genre fiction is a metaphor. The future in science fiction is a metaphor. Um, other, other worlds are metaphors. Monsters are metaphors for things around us. We're always telling the story of our own lives. We're always telling the story of our own times. And I think one of the reasons why there are so many post-apocalyptic movies around at the moment is because it feels like we're living through the end of the world. The, ap the apocalypse feels like, um, you know, it feels like reportage. Um, and Colin, Colin McCarthy, um, our director, said to me very early on, even before we started working on Girl With All The Gifts together, um, when Cammy first introduced it, me to him, he said, um, all the great monsters, all of the enduring monsters, the monsters that people keep going back to, are actually mirrors. You go back to them because you see yourself there. And that the amazing thing about zombies, I think, is that they're a mirror that's infinitely adaptable. At different times, they've meant very different things. You can keep on going back to them and then and using them, putting them to different uses. What we're seeing now is Zombie 2.0. Um, it used to be that zombie stories were just the story of the actual, the apocalypse, the, the changeover, the change in society. But I think what we're seeing now is stories that are increased, that increasingly have the zombie apocalypse has happened somewhere over here and you're focusing in on something, something different. You know, in our case, the story of the relationship between a young girl and a woman, which becomes a kind of quasi-parental relationship.